Welcome to Sports Flex Betting. How you doing, guys? My name is Gene, and today, and it's always, it's going to be the WNBA. I'm going to give you my three top picks, my three top teams that I feel like should win on the five games that's going to happen on September 1st. Yes, September 1st. Now, let me go check out to see what games do we have. So, the first game will be Storm versus Suns. Now, they did play each other first time and storm did win now the only thing is remember i'm gonna pick you pick my three top game uh, three top teams that should win and there's five games that's going to happen on september 1st so on storms and sun just off the back with the productor or predictions the suns with their matching prediction the suns is up there 59 to point on 40. Um, remember, they did added Marina, and Marina did not play them last time when, of course, Suns didn't have uh, Marina at that time. So she should be a big difference in this game. That would give me a better indication that the Suns should win. As you can see, the Suns does have a better record than the Storm. Now, the only thing is, is that I just don't feel so confident in either team. I don't know. This is really pretty even to me. And the other thing, too, on Hard Rock, it's kind of thinking the same way because it's not like, you know, Storm is the underdog, but I think it's just because they're playing at um, Sun's house. Oh, that's what it is. And, of course, the spread is not too far apart. So, you know, Hard Rock is kind of thinking the same thing that is pretty even for sure. Now, let me go check. Now, the team stats shows that um, Storm is pretty good. It's better than them on, on their points. Um, rebounds, they have like two two points or two percents higher than the Suns. Um, assists, better assists, better blocking, and better steals than the Suns. The only thing is, is that I do feel like the Suns has been beating better teams than the the storm right so you see right here it sees that they played um mystique and they lost of course they they played them twice they won the first time lost the second one but they played um fever and then they lost from that one and they played dream uh they lost from both of that dream did beat the suns and um storms at the same time but because i see the suns beat liberty Sky, you know, they're up and down to me. Sky right now, they're just not looking so good. But because they beat Liberty, it just gives me a good indication that they could, they should beat Storm. They do have a better record. They brought uh, Marina to help them on, on, on the, off the offensive line. So I do feel like the Sun should beat the um, Storm. So I would pick that. But because I have more options and I want to have um, a better chance to win some money. Now, guys. If this is your first time betting and you're planning to bet, I do have the link in my description. You can click on that and you can sign up on to that process. And we could, of course, both of us could start winning money together. Now, I will pick Suns, right? Now, guys, please comment below. Would you pick Suns? But right now, right now, I have more options. So let's continue with the rest of the games. If I don't see anything good, then I will pick Suns because I feel a lot better that the sun should beat the storm all right so let's see what else we have here um okay now we have fever and wing now of course i'm pretty sure all you guys is watching me and be like oh yeah fever fever should win fever has been in a row and yeah they do look at their record they're doing really good 16 to 16 remember the beginning when they started it was like I don't know, maybe they won one game, lost 10 games. It was ridiculous, but they're like very confident team. They're beating hard um, teams and of course, easy teams too. So I'm like, I'm really feeling confident in that. But in this week, the Wings have been beating hard teams also, like the Aces, like the Lynx. So it's like maybe out of nowhere, they're gonna beat the Fever because the last time they played each other, as you can see, Wings did beat the Fever. But Fever is a different team. I'm just saying. Now, to me, this team is more of a scoring team. I don't think it's really defensive team, either team. They're more of a scoring team. And they're pretty much a little even with each other. So as you can see, the, the team stats, you have, look, 
uh, Fevers 83.3, and then you have Wings 83.4. Uh, rebounds almost the same thing, but Fever is like one point ahead. Assist, oh my gosh, it's 0.3 percent ahead than um than the wings and so far with the blocks and the steals it, they're pretty close so me for me to be in the safe side i would pick fever right let me see if i uh, see i'm on hard rock see close game here guys close game or close points you can see it's not far apart of course i would say yeah wings should be the underdog here right but they have been winning and beating tough team this past like three or four games they've been playing i'm just saying right so for me if i do anything i will pick if you guys don't take you know if you, you're you not into picking spreads or the total points yeah i will go with fever but to me because wings been doing pretty good this past three games they've been playing i will pick the points i think it'll be a high scoring game even if you could see right here Look, you can see Fever and Wing. Um, they added together is up to 194, right? Um, they're asking um, 182.5, and I will go over 182.5. That's what I pick over 182.5. That's what I would pick, but because we still have more games, and I have to give you three top picks here. Let me go check to see what other team that will give me a better guarantee and feel more confident in. But so far, if, if this is the only team I, I had to pick, I would pick the money line for Fever or I would pick the total number and I will go over the 180, no, the 182.5. I'm sorry about that. That's my kid just yelling if you guys hear that. But the 182.5, I will go over. That would be my first pick, and my second pick would be the money line. Just saying, this is just a suggestion, guys, if you would like to place a bet on Fever. Now, I'm not saying I'm not going to place a bet on Fever because, you know, I might still. But right now, I have three more other games to pick, and I'm going to give you my three top picks. So let's go check out the other games. All right, next game will be Sky versus Link. And me personally, Oh man, Sky needs to step up and he needs to win some games because it's, it's not looking good for Sky. All right. I know Carter haven't played for the two last games. And, you know, maybe you could say that's the reason why they're losing, but it's like one player should not indicate the whole team like that. That's crazy, you know? So I know Carter. Oh, game time. It shows game time. So most likely she should be playing with the Lynx, but the Lynx did beat them. The last time they played, you know, um, let me see what Hard Rock is asking for. Oh, look at the spread is 11.5. Um, wow. You know, they're underdog sky. I, I completely understand why they're the underdogs because they haven't been winning any games right now. Look at the last five games. They, they won only one game and they beat the Sparks. Um, actually, technically, they haven't even shown Fever because Fever played them yesterday and they beat them too. So it's like technically the last five games. They lost every single game. Really, they lost every single game. And I think it's going to continue because they're playing the Lynx. And I don't think Carter is going to be one of the girls that's going to come here and change up the whole scenario for them super quick. It might be a very close game. So me, if I was you guys, I would go with the spread with the plus 11.5. It will be a close game. But for them to win, then I will go straight with the money line. And because I just won guarantee wins, I'm going to go with the straight money line with Link. That will be my first pick. And let's continue with the next game for September 1st. Now, guys, please remember to subscribe. Give this video a like and always comment. I would love to know what you disagree and what you do agree with my picks. Okay. All right. So now we have Aces versus Mercury. Mercury. And aces, aces, first of all, now aces, man, I'm getting a little disappointed, a little bit. Aces is one of the big dogs out there, big team out there that everybody wants to be. But I just feel like aces is being, I don't know if they're being slacking because they're such a great team and they're not really taking teams very seriously, but I feel like they've been losing. Well, they are losing against easy teams like wing or unless wing stepped up so greatly that you know, they are being difficult team, but come on. 
aces. You're supposed to beat wings. You, you're not supposed to have a close game with Sky. I'm just saying. This is ridiculous. Now, I can understand the loss with Lynx, because Lynx is actually a really great team, in my opinion. Um, please comment below if you believe that, too. Um, but let me see here how long. Okay, so right now, Mercury versus Lynx. They had three games that they played. First one, Aces won. Second one, Mercury won. And the third one, Aces won. Now, I'm going to go straight for it. And I'm just going to go straight for Aces because they should win the game. Now, if they lose, it's not going to be shocking anymore for me because they have been losing against players. That is easy. That's not a very good team. So, but at the end of the day, you have Wilson, one of the best players in the WNBA. So you can never count them out at all. So I will go with the money line with Aces. I will go with that. 100%. It's just, yeah, I will go with that 100%. Now, that will be my second pick. Now, my last one, the team that I've been very impressed ever since the All-Star team, the females All-Star team, is actually the Dream. Dream, I've been very impressed with that team because, they, once again, they've been, they're beating tough teams. They've been doing very great. One of the players I really like in that team is Gray. Gray has been, been awesome. All right. Now, who would I pick? Me, because right now, Atlanta Dreams been, hopefully I said Atlanta Dream the whole time. Now I'm like second guessing myself if I said Dream a couple of times, but whatever. I corrected myself, guys. It's Dream. I like Dream. Dream's been great. Gray been awesome as a player. But let's see the last two games that Gray played against Sparks. And as you can see, they won both games. Do I think Sparks could beat Dream? No. I'm just saying it flat, clear, just easy, okay? Dream, Sparks been hurt since the beginning because so much of their players been hurt. So I just don't feel like they're going to come back and try to beat and win so much different games. But Dream been doing super good. They've been beating great teams in my opinion now as you can see the last three games they have been lost against storm um fever and phoenix but it's pretty close game so like me i like going to the spread with them um let me see with sparks i don't think there's going to be that much of a difference yes yeah, 1.5 me i'm just going to go straight with the money line with dream and this will be my three top picks it will be Lynx, aces and dream now, guys, if you like the picks I pick, put it on your card, and hopefully, well, you know what? We will win some money. I got to say this to existence. We're going to win some money. Now, guys, if you're into the NFL, just let so you know, I have the links around this video. Click that one. And I'm already, I am already picked my picks for Ravens versus Chief. Um, I got my three top players that I feel like is going to get their touchdown, rebounds, or assists, or, or whatever it is they're going to get it check that video out comment below on that one and yeah that's it i uh, guys just let you know to subscribe give this video a like and always comment and i'll see y'all later to the next game i am audi